hello everyone I'm making this video to update everyone um, all the guys who are subscribed on YouTube to do a quick summary of what's happened why my twitch channel is closed right now and uh, pretty much where we're going from here so uh, really quickly as quickly as I can anyway uh, my twitch channel is indeed banned right now as of right now it is a permanent ban and um, a, a quick rundown of what happened is my channel got shut down. It was a temporary suspension. It was a one-week suspension, and it got closed for seven days um, because I was not doing a good enough job to actually um, control my chat was the main reason why I got banned. Um, it was not one particular reason. It was just I was not doing a good enough job of controlling my community. People were spamming in the chat too much. People were donating with you know bad racist, just crude messages. And as a broadcaster, Twitch said that I was not doing a good enough job of regulating my own community and because of this they shut me down for one week. Um, I, it was my fault, I agree that there was more that I could have been doing and I kind of lost control of everything with everything going on and H1Z1 and all the craziness of the viewer count explosion and all that, I kind of lost control and I admit that I didn't do a, a good enough job and I kind of accepted my fate with the one week ban. So I came back uh, a week later and um, Twitch told me to you know get my act together essentially and that's what I did. I got my act together. Everything was uh, fine. My my streams for the first few days were good. There were no problems. There were no racist messages. There was nothing bad at all going on in the in the chat. Um, you know, little few things here and there. But you know, just like every other streamer, you can't really control everyone. So you just have to do your best job. And everything was going fine the first day. Everything went fine the second day. And then on the third day, uh, my channel got closed again. And same thing. There was nothing going wrong on the third day. It was not. There was no problems, there was no racist messages, no uh, chat not going crazy or anything. I did not break any terms of service uh, agreements or anything. There were no rules broken. Um, I did nothing wrong at this point, and I got an email from Twitch shortly afterwards asking them to call them. So I called them, uh, I gave them my phone number, they called me. A representative and a staff member from Twitch were on the phone with me for a really long time, about an hour. And pretty much the uh, the rundown is they told me that I wasn't actually breaking any particular rules in general, and that's not the reason why they banned me the second time. The reason why they banned me the second time was they were just really unhappy with my community, and they were really unhappy with the direction that my stream was going. Uh, they said that t Twitch was not the community for me. They didn't want me on Twitch. They didn't think that my stream was appropriate for the Twitch community. And uh, they even told me on the phone, you know, you should try another website like Hitbox. I swear... On my life, the member on the phone, Anel from Twitch, actually told me, you know, why don't you go to Twitch Hitbox? So they talked to me on the phone a lot. Um, they told me a lot of things that were not true, such as they had said several times to disable my text-to-speech program. And staff members and admins had told me several times to disable my text-to-speech uh, program, which is not true. Nobody ever messaged me about that, ever. Um, the guy on the phone was really unhappy that I called my top donator top dick which is kind of ridiculous because there's so many other streamers who do similar things and I have an 18 plus filter on my channel so um, I don't see why I should be, um, you know, I don't see why I would get called out for something like that. He mentioned something along the lines of how it's really insulting to your, your community and it's really insulting to the people who support you and um, that kind of behavior was, you know, they didn't like that. So it was a really long conversation. If you're interested in the whole story, there's like an hour story. I'm going to put the link in the info section. It's a one hour and 20 minute video where I uh, start up a stream on Hitbox, which I'm going to talk about in a second right now. And I talk about the whole situation in detail, like an hour long version of everything that happens. So this is just a quick summary, but uh, I was on the phone with them for a while and pretty much they just told me that they didn't want me on the Twitch community and that it was a permanent ban. So, um, that's where I'm at right now. Who knows where things will go in the future with Twitch. Right now I'm banned. They don't want to communicate with me. They didn't reply to any of my emails for a week. It took them over a week for them to reply to me. Um, the guy on the phone said that the next day, it was a Wednesday, he said that Thursday after their lunchtime meeting at noon that they would send me an email at 1 p.m. They would tell me whether um, they would possibly lift my suspension or whether it was going to be a permanent ban. And that he didn't email me for seven days. So they completely ignored me. I sent them a bunch of emails. They didn't reply. They completely uh, ignored me. And then a week later, he told me. So it was a, a really, really tough week because, you know, Twitch told me that they would email me on that Thursday, and they never did. They didn't email me until next Wednesday or next Thursday. So I think it was next Thursday they emailed me or something like that. So it was pretty ridiculous. 
So anyway, moving on from here, for those of you guys wondering uh, what I'm going to be doing, for a while I, I was really upset, it was a really tough week for me, it was a really tough time, I wanted to just quit streaming, I wanted to never come back, I wanted to just be done with it, and um, I kind of realized that because there's so many of you guys who enjoy the stream and so many of you guys who do support that, that probably wasn't the best idea. So um, I lost my job on Twitch, I had 160,000 followers, I had um, roughly 1,000 paying subscribers, you know, you can... Three dollars ish per subscriber. That's three thousand dollars a month of income that I lost. Um, I had um, a good thing going on Twitch. You know, a huge community, thousands of viewers, and that is gone. But <clears throat> I'm reaching out to everyone that I can right now through YouTube, Twitter, all of your friends, all of my friends, everyone that used to watch me on my old stream. Um, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be doing a 30-day Hitbox live stream. Um, I want to say challenge, but it's not really like a challenge. It's more of an ultimatum. And this is why I'm going to be streaming on Hitbox for 30 days starting at 8 p.m. Pacific Standard Time every day on February 15th. Um, and I'm going to be streaming every single day for at least four hours a day. That's the guaranteed stream. Streams will probably be longer than that. They'll probably be five, six, seven hours every day. But it's a guaranteed four hours. So from 8 p.m. Pacific until midnight, um, the streams will be live every day for the next 30 days. And um, what I'm going to try to do is I'm going to try to... Um, I'm going to try to make a living out of streaming. I'm going to try to make a job out of it. I'm going to try to keep it as my financial income. And um, that's kind of going to be my goal over the next 30 days is to actually keep it a job, keep it my primary financial income situation and all that. So, um, you know, you can expect me to be live on hitbox.tv slash goodideagaming. I'm going to put all the links in the info section every day for the next 30 days. And I'm going to try to make this work. This is going to be like, the final 30 days, right? It's going to be like the final, I don't want, I don't really want to say the final 30 days, but it's going to be like, we're going to take a look and see at the end of the 30 days, see where the stream is at, see subscriber numbers, viewer numbers, all that stuff. I'm going to take a look and see if I'm able to stream on Hitbox with the community that we have and able to keep it as my, uh, as my job, I guess. So, um, I'm going to take a look at all the numbers and everything and see where we're at. And if I am going to be able to keep it as my job, I'm going to be streaming six to seven days a week every day for a long, long time, as long as I can. If at the end of the 30 days, things aren't looking too, too great, you know, this ad revenue is low, viewer counts low, all that stuff. Unfortunately, that doesn't mean that I'm going to quit streaming. It just means that I'm not going to be able to stream as much because I'm going to have to move on, get a job, do all that stuff. So... Um, you know, it's like the 30 days where I'm going to see how it works on Hitbox. I'm going to give it my best four hours of guaranteed streaming. I'm going to spend tons of extra time while I'm not streaming, doing things like this, making videos, reaching out to people, trying to get a bunch of old people who used to watch the stream to, um, tune into the new stream and, uh, see where it goes. So if you guys are interested, if you guys are, if you still want to watch the stream, if you were used to watch my Twitch stream, I'm still around on hitbox.tv slash goodideagaming. Tell your friends, tell people that you know, reach out to people. I'm gonna do my best. If you guys could do me a favor and do your best, that would be great. Doing things like telling your friends, um, telling people that used to watch the stream on Twitch, telling people that uh, you think might be interested in the stream. If you play Blizzard games, you know, putting in your little broadcast thing, you know, hey, Gig is still alive, he's just on Hitbox, you know, anything that you can. I'm going to be doing my best. If you guys could be awesome and do your best, that would be fantastic. So um, we're going to do this for 30 days, see how things go. Um, I just wanted to um, update everyone on the situation. You could expect me to be live. All VODs of all streams will be on the Hitbox site as well. I might be posting more YouTube videos in the future as well. We'll kind of have to see. Um, this next month is going to be pretty crazy, so feel free to check it out. I'll put links and everything there. And again, there's a longer VOD of explaining the whole situation that I'll put in the info section if you're interested. So thanks, everyone, for um, everything. Thanks, everyone, for all the support over the past three to four years. I know this has been kind of a serious video because it is kind of a serious topic, so I haven't been doing anything crazy this video. But thank you very much, everyone, for everything and all of your support, guys. I'm going to try to make this work. I'm going to really do my best. And uh, for all news and updates, definitely make sure to keep up on the Twitter, twitter.com slash goodideagaming. I'll be live every day at 8 p.m. Pacific. Um, February 15th is the start date um, for at least 30 days, four hours of guaranteed streaming every day. Um, so definitely keep up to date on all of that. So thanks again, guys. Thanks for all the support. Thanks for everything. Let's try to make this work. And uh, see you guys all very, very soon.